anyway, we eventually went uh, in this SAS plane and uh, Z plus three, I think it was. And uh, it, that was quite exciting because uh, it subsequently turned out they dropped us about 3,000 feet, very high, and there was a big storm on. And the reason for that was I, I, I found out the, the pilot, who was very young looking, I said to the colonel, hey, this bloke, look, he's pretty young. He said, he said yeah, let look at yourself lately. And he looked about 15, this pilot. <laughs> and so, and of course, being a lone bomber on its own, he didn't, they, if you couldn't find the DZ out, you went. Because, they, because of night fighters, he couldn't fart about looking for a drop in zone. And there was this terrible storm on, a terrific storm that night we jumped. Anyway, I land, I was number 12, the last. And then all the containers came out. And uh, when I hit the, I landed in a tree, because it was dark at night, and a bloody lightning. And, uh, and uh, well, I eventually got out of there. And then I, I realised which way the plane had gone, so I started to walk. And about a field and a half, I came across the Colonel, because he jumped just before to me, number 11, I think it was. And he busted a, foot, um, a bone in his foot, a metacarpus, you know. So he was limping, he was out of, more or less out of commission. Anyway, we fiddled about a bit longer. And we came across the rest of the SS, we all got together. We, and we were on a, a sort of an escarpment. Uh, and the next morning, because that would be about two o'clock in the morning or something like that, anyway, next dawn, I, I got a pair of knockers. And there were the crowds picking up all our containers and my radio set and everything else, which didn't please me, but anyway.